Okay, you can pause the video, try this by yourself. Okay, they have this logo and it's a trapezoid. And it consists of three congruent equilateral triangles. So all these sides are congruent. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then if the perimeter of the logo is 20 centimeters, all right, let's say the whole thing, let's, let's call it X because we don't know that that's X also because it's equilateral and that's also X. All these sides are all X's. Okay. So those, how many, one, two, three, four, five X's, five X's is the perimeter, which is 20. That means divided by five, X must be four. So all these sides are four now. Okay, let me get rid of that. So it's four, four. I'm just gonna focus on this one triangle here. Okay, left triangle here. And then what you need to do is just figure out the area and then times by two because this is also exact same copy of, of that. Okay, so let me bring that down here. Let me get rid of this. It's four by four by four. All right, so get rid of that. So we have four, four, four. Four, but then I'm gonna cut it in half because the equilateral cut in half each. That angle right there is 30 degrees, and uh, this must be 60 because it used to be 60, 60, 60. And since we cut in half, this is two. Okay. Now you should know the uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle uh, ratio. Okay. If you have 30, 60, 90 triangle, that's 30, 60, 90 triangle. Uh, shortest leg opposite to 30 degrees is always 1 or just x. Then the hypotenuse of it is always the double that. And then the longer leg is the uh, square root of 3 times the short leg. In this case, it's radical 3. Okay, So uh, you should know this ratio. Then the height of this triangle right there, this height, must be 2 times, whatever. remember, whatever this is, times by radical 3. So it's going to be 2 square root of three. Well, area of the triangle right there is one half times base, which will be four, that's the whole base of this triangle, four times the height of the triangle, which is two times square root of three. Then, oh, I'm gonna multiply by two, because remember in the earlier example right here, we got two of these uh, shaded triangles. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply by two at the end, okay? So we have one half times four times two square root of three times two because there are two triangles. So two cancels with two. So the area must be eight square root of three.